Well, what's happening in D.C. is very unusual. It's the worst dimension of warfare we've ever seen. And I believe that God has drawn a line in the, sun, a line in the sand. And he wants to restore and renew America. But um, the spiritual forces that be um, want to thwart that. So the Kavanaugh uh, hearings have become a circus uh, because darkness has decided, or demonic forces, that they're going to try to block him from being in office. Once he is affirmed and additional judges are affirmed, uh, I believe that's one of Trump's assignments, by the way, to really shift America for good. Right now, um, there is a de facto uh, severe limiting and almost a canceling of Roe v. Wade uh, because you, the Supreme Court is not going to bring crazy rulings and that Trump has already changed so many judges that there's a different kind of judgment that is going forth. And so at root, I think that's the biggest issue that's going on. Um, August 1st, a bunch of African-American pastors, a few Hispanics gathered as urban pastors at the White House with President Trump. And you may have heard there's a great kerfluffle about that. And in that there are all these people that rose up and saying, you guys just want photo ops, you're not sincere. And so every time the devil sees an alignment that he knows is going to break down his agenda, he begins to manifest warfare on a high level. So the change of judges, uh, the changing, um, really the opportunity for African-Americans, Hispanics to see jobs come to the hood, the transformation of urban neighborhoods, all of that is on heaven's agenda and hell is letting us know is that it's not pleased and their idea is, even though the church often doesn't really understand what God is doing, that the right players are in place, the right situation is set up, that there's going to be a, uh, a diminishing of Satan's kingdom. So <clears throat> it's, it's truly just a spiritual warfare going on in our country. It's, it's, yes. And that's, well, it's gone on from, from the beginning in the garden, but... It's, if we have to look at it as a spiritual battle, not a political battle as such. Yes. The spirits are using the political, but it is a spiritual battle. Well, and that's the big thing for everyone to remember. It's so basic that in the earth realm, the reason Jesus had to come and become the second Adam uh, has to do with in the earth realm, heaven's forces manifested through individuals and Satan's darkness manifests through individuals rule the day. So the gatekeepers in the spirit realm uh, have to be human. In other words, witches, right. warlocks, uh, demonically inspired people, people with a Jezebel spirit in the Capitol Hill who are setting laws, all these things, they are like gates. You know, the Bible says the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Well, the gates and the gatekeepers, in a sense, are humans who are demonically influenced. 